Welcome to Alpha Cars and Ural Motorcycles. We are in our delivery area of our box bar location. We have some cool vehicles here. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Major. Hi, hi Wiley. Wiley, say hi. Hi. Yep. Yeah. And today what we're going to do, we're going to actually answer the most common question that we get from anyone who is considering to purchase a Ural motorcycle. And the question is, what are the dimensions? And of course there are dimensions uh, specifications online, but there are definitely different ways to measure anything, especially with such a beautiful shape um, as the Ural motorcycle. So we, as you can see, we marked out projections from the contours of the motorcycle. You can see this line is for the front bumper. Here is the front wheel projection. We have the front axle right here. This is the engine bar. And then we have the rear axle. These two lines, this one and this one are outside of the uh, tires. You can see that. So we're actually going to take the tape and measure it all for you. So my name is Dimitri. I'm here with Daryl and Wiley. And we have a 2022 Euro motorcycle with the sidecar. Dimensionally, they're all about the same. They are about the same, yes. So you can go back to... I guess even 80s. Yeah, all the gear ups and patrols are all the same dimensions. The retro is a little different. The retro is a little different. So this is uh, this would probably also work on the single wheel drive CT somewhat. Very mm -hmm. close, maybe width a little different. But let's uh, get started. So what we're going to do, we marked out the projection of the uh, of, of the dimensions of the bike. So we have the front line, we have the side line, we have a few other important uh, points. So we're going to use the tape which has both inches and metric and we're going to measure it and we're going to tell you what these dimensions are. Hopefully we get them all but we're actually going to keep this print on the floor for a little bit longer. So if there is a dimension we missed Please ask in the comment. We're probably going to keep it for a week to maybe 10 days. And if we missed anything, we will add that uh, to the video description. So we're going to start on the overall dimensions of the bike. So let's measure um, front to back, which would be the very front of the tire. And when I say all the way back, that means to the very back of the spare wheel. So what we're showing, we are showing eight foot and one inch. Uh, and in metric, it would be uh, 247 centimeters. Each centimeter has 10 millimeters. Go and figure. Yep, do the math. So we did that. While we have this dimension, Daryl, uh, what if someone does not have the rack or the spare wheel or they need to make the bike a little shorter? We do need to project the back of the sidecar to, um, to about here. So there's about to the middle of that tile. So there's about six to seven inch. Yeah, difference. you also got to allow for this grab rail. So you're probably yeah. going to come in two more. So you can probably take about... I don't know, I'd say six inches off of it if you didn't have the spare of the rack. Yes, so let's make a note of that. Now, let's measure the width of the bike. Do we want to go ahead and show that along oh, yes. this way? Yes, we thank have, you. If you look on the marks, you also have the axle center lines. So we have six foot from the uh, front 
of the front wheel. So actually, let's do this, Daryl. Maybe we can move this to the axle to, to axle. Center lines. Yeah, axle just, to axle. Just slide it down some. Yeah. No, you, axle to axle. Yeah, so, right here. Right here, yes. So we're measuring 59 inches axle to axle or 150 centimeters. Uh, also, let's do a little bit more here. Again, if someone wanted to sh keep the bike or put it somewhere where they limit it for space, what can they do? They can remove the spare wheel, we know, and the rack. Yep. They can also turn the steering. So if you turn the steering, like all the way to the right, let's say. Still have this out. Y yes, I'm talking about front dimension. Are we getting any, um, are we gaining an inch or two, or what are we gaining? So if we did this. You gain an inch. So we can gain an inch and about six inches in the back. Mm -hmm. So you can, the shortest you would ever get with a Ural motorcycle would be the 97 inches less about seven inches, which brings it down to about 90 inches. So 90 inches puts us at 229 centimeters. Okay. okay. So what else do we have on this side? We have the uh, engine guard, so which we can, if we measure it from the front axle, if we measure it from front axle, we have about 20 inches or about 52 centimeters. So let's take a different uh, set of measurements now on the back of the bike. Yeah, this is uh, one most people are most interested in, trying to fit it through doorways into a shed or whatever, or even onto a trailer. So is the lock button hit on there? Yeah, I got it. So we have 60, we have 63 inches wide, which takes under account this outer edge of the fender, this one. And on that side, we have the uh, engine, engine guard. Which is the widest yes. immobile point. And again, if you're really dealing with making through a narrow doorway, and then it's gonna be wider. You have a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, maneuvering to do to be able to get it into the tighter. So right now we have 63 inches wide. So you have if you have 63, 63 and a half or more, you can pretty much roll it in. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had success. It was a team effort, and it was not easy, and we had to put some soft things around but you can actually bring the bike under angle and take advantage of the narrow dimensions before and after the engine guard, not to mention you can remove the engine guard and gain an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. Also, you can take advantage of, let's get over on this side, you can take advantage of slightly narrower, um, obviously here at the nose of the sidecar, so you can definitely come in on the certain angle of the bike and a certain angle of the steering wheel, and you can potentially get it through a 60 inch opening. This is not easy, but we know it can be done. So we're not encouraging you to get the trailer with 60 inch opening. In fact, you should get something with at least 63. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're in a gym and we found ourselves in, couple of times we were able to get it through uh, the 60 inch opening and it cannot be done with one person we needed some help you can put it onto a 60 inch flat trailer with a minimum of side rails because that is now correct. you're going track width yes and so that that's also consideration we uh, uh, a lot of times companies like u-hauls they have two uh, five foot trailers and the one without the ramp gives you a true, the true width, 
and you can get it on that because there's nothing side. So for that, we need to, you need to know the height. Uh, I'm just looking for the tape. Um, it's on the floor. Oh, there it is. So to clear those sides on the trailer. That'd be your track width. You would need to clear the, the height of the trailer side, if it's not removable, say you have a trailer with a welded side. Uh, so you need to be able to clear this foot peg and certainly the shifter, but this foot peg is the lowest point. So which happens to be, uh, which happens to be just under one foot, 11 and a half inches. And in millimeters, uh, we're registering uh, 30, I'm sorry, centimeters or 300 milli millimeters. 30 centimeters. So if we have a trailer with a side lower than this, you can then clear the side. Mm -hmm. And at that point, all the width you need is for the bike wheels. Yeah, the track width itself. Yes. And we have those marks right there. So we're going to measure those. Those we're going to measure the outside of the right sidecar wheel and left uh, two wheels of the bike. So let's do that. And for that, we mark that out there and up here. So we're measuring uh, four foot and I guess four and, a, uh, four and three quarters. If you have 49 inches on your trailer, if you have 50 inches, I think those are most common mm -hmm. trailers. You're definitely going to be able to do that. So now we covered the minimum trailer width, which has no sides or has removable sides or has sides that are lower than 11 inches, 11 inches or about 11 inches, 11 and a half would be the max. Well, you figure it's a little over 11, yep. but then when you're, if you're, if you happen to be sitting on it yep. or want to sit on it to get it off, it'll compress a little bit. And just a little trick we ran into if, if you had a side that was 12, if you have two by four, two by six, two by eight, whatever, you can put it under the wheels and roll it on those, which will elevate the bike to clear that 12 mm -hmm. inch side. So the other dimension, minimal dimension to fit a bike on the short trailer, we need to know what is the uh, length of the trailer or depth of the trailer from the contact point of the bike wheel. And for that, we have these marks. Yeah. We would take the axle center point and then give a couple of inches on each side. Yep. So let's do the axle to axle plus four inches. So let's do axle to axle, okay, which it. we measured was 59. And I guess if you add four, you would be at 63. I'm sorry, 59, 63. Yeah, 63. So if you have a trailer with a depth of 63 inches, and no sides, because if you have a side up here, you won't be able to get it that close. Mm -hmm. That's what Daryl was saying. So if a trailer with no side in the front, uh, that's the minimum, minimum platform. trailer size. Yeah. So we just figured that out. That was a common question. Uh, what else do we have for measurements on this Let's side? Let's see, we went across the front, we went down this way. So the relation of the projection of the bumper to the front of the bike wheel. We're gonna measure that. So that's this point to here is about one foot. So if you were transporting several Ural motorcycles, that would be a good dimension to know. Or if you have a solo bike and you're parking a Ural, that would be a good dimension to know. Not to mention, you can use this space and fit the other bike in between. Mm -hmm. uh, the other dimension we have is the uh, frame of the sidecar, the step. So it's recessed from the fender line ab about three inches or 75 uh, millimeters, seven, centi seven and a half centimeters. So we have that, and we can also measure off the recess of this frame from the very front of the bike wheel, which puts us at uh, 
35 inches mm -hmm. or 89 centimeters, 890 millimeters. While you're here, you might as well measure from the bumper to the ground too. Yes, that's a good, uh, that's a very good point to measure. So we are measuring the bottom of the frame just under 14 inches, which is uh, 36, 35, 36 centimeters. So we've got that. And over here in the back, we have one more dimension, which is the very back of the wheel to the back of the sidecar fender, or technically it's this point, which can go in another inch technically, or close to that. So we are measuring about 14 and a half, 15 inches, 37 centimeters. And remember that you can step back another six inches if you don't have a spare wheel and the spare wheel rack. You know, the, the only other thing somebody might ask is overall height. If they're trying to slide yeah. it up under a shelf or something. Absolutely. Measure it up to the, probably the base of the mirrors because anybody yeah. can pop those off. Yes. So we're going to measure that. And what do we get? Uh, we get about 40, uh, 45. And you can gain another like three quarter of an inch if you remove the bushing. So uh, right around 45 inches, which is uh, 115 centimeters. Uh, I guess the seat height. I know there are specs for that, but... Yeah, and with the side cart, really, it is irrelevant. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it is. But yeah, it's 33, uh, and you can adjust the shocks and, and make it behave differently. So that's that. I think... Uh, that covers it. I think that covers it. So thank you for your patience during this extensive set of measurements. As I said, we're going to keep our projection mapping on the floor for a little bit longer after we release this video. And if there is anything we missed at all specific to the measurements, please let us know and we will catch up. I'm sure you'll have plenty of other questions. So consider browsing through our YouTube channel. We probably have an answer for that, certainly on our website. And uh, consider subscribing sharing, and please let us know which videos you like the best by simply clicking that like button. Daryl, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for watching.